welcome back in this video I'm going to do the next example of integration by trig substitution now the intuition is not initially very clear but uh, you need to know the basic trig identities which is sine squared plus cos squared is 1 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared and 1 plus cot squared is cos x squared so in all examples of trig substitution you have to try to get this in some form of the of the trig identities, the basic tree identities. So what have I done? So in the first step, I have I want a one year. So I want to I don't want a nine year. So I, I want to divide nine by nine. So I will divide this by nine. So if you divide by 9, you multiply by 9, that means you are not doing anything. So in this step, so if you factor out this 9, this is 1. So you multiply by 9 and divide by 9, which is fine. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So in the next step, uh, this is a very long example, so I've gone step by step so that I don't make mistakes and I don't waste your time. Okay, the next is, this 27, where did I get this 27? This is 9, now this, uh, the power of 3 halves, that's 1.5, uh, is applicable to each of them. So this 27 is nothing but 9 to the power of 1.5. So I'll show that on a calculator. So menu, 1. So 9 my so 9 raised to 1.5 my calculator is working very slow equal to 27 okay so that's how I got this 27 and uh, and okay, one more thing, the square root. Now 9 to the power, suppose suppose you have um, say 8 to the power 3 halves. Can we write this as 8 to the power half to the power 3? And 8 to the power half is same as square root of 8. Okay, I hope you understand this explanation. So I have taken the square root of this, which is half, and this is the third, which is uh, taken out. Okay. Okay. So what will be the next step? Okay. So now I have substituted. I have substituted this as six squared. Okay. Now where, how did I know that? So I know one plus ten squared. One plus ten squared theta is equal to. 6 squared theta. This is a trig identity. So can I say, if I make 10 squared the uh, subject, so 10 squared theta, so 10 squared theta, 10 squared theta is 6 squared theta minus 1. So I'm going to look at this. I want you to look at this trig identity and compare with this. So this is compared with this. So I'm saying, okay, this and this are very similar. So I'm going to let this as 6 squared theta. So then taking square root of both sides, 2 third x is equal to sec theta. So x is making x the subject, 3 over 2 sec theta. Now this will be used later on. So, so what have I done? Okay, so now next step, you differentiate this. So if you differentiate with respect to theta, dx by d theta, differentiation of sec theta you should know is sec theta tan theta. Okay, you can look in the formula sheet and the derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta and 3 over 2 is 1.5. So let us look back. So we have, okay, one more step. So if you cross multiply, okay, or if you multiply d theta to both sides, dx is 1.5 sec theta tan theta uh, d theta. So 
everything now changes from x to theta so you can you can now write this as this whole thing you can write 4x squared over 9 as x squared theta so everything in from x will change to theta form so integration i've rewritten the whole thing therefore integration of dx by 4x squared minus 9 over 3 over 2 is this is your dx and this is the denominator okay which was simplified to 27 that's the 27 and 4x squared over 9 became 6 squared theta minus 1 the whole cube okay this is now simple simplification so 1.5 sec theta tan theta d theta and 6 squared minus 1 is tan squared square root of tan squared and the square root of tan squared becomes tan theta so this is simple 1.5 sec theta tan theta over 27 this is tan theta the whole cube uh, d theta okay let me go not fast but now this 27 divided by 20 sorry 1.5 okay, let me explain that so this is 1.5 over 27 is same as 15 over 270 okay so you can divide this by say 3 you can also divide this by 3 so this becomes 5 over 90 and this simplifies to 1 18th i hope you understand okay 5 goes in 18 5 goes in 90 18 times so that's how i got this 1 18th okay hope you understand this so not dividing if you can divide this by 5 you can divide this by 5 and 90 divided by 5 is 18 so that's how i got 1 18th uh, 1 10 theta gets cancelled so you can cancel like this if you want so you cancel this and the 2 remains here so this is sec theta over 10 squared theta d theta okay so where are we we'll go step by step now sec theta i have written as 1 over cos theta and 1 over 10 squared is cot squared okay 1 over 10 the reciprocal of 10 is cot okay and cot is cot is cos over sine so that's what i've written so this becomes cos squared over sine squared so this cos theta and one cos theta will get cancelled so what have we got the next step is 118th over cos theta over sine squared theta d theta okay now again you have to do a u substitution very exciting so if you substitute u as sine theta and if you differentiate both uh, differentiate with respect to theta differentiation of sine theta is cos theta okay and du becomes cos theta d theta so can you see the cos theta d theta here sitting here that will change to du and this will change to u squared so now that becomes integration of 1 over 18th over d 1 over u squared du now this is simple uh, power integration and 1 over u squared can be written as u to the power negative 2 du and when you differentiate this you get this okay increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power so if you increase this by 1 you get negative 1 divided by negative 1 okay so where are we now so this becomes this simplifies to negative 1 over 18 u plus c so this is almost there now okay now from here from here we want to change this into x form so let us go back so what do we know i told you we'll we know x is equal to 3 over 2 sec theta so we're going to use that fact so and we'll come back here so what do we know now we know sec theta is 2 over 3 okay yeah i didn't show you that so this 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 implies can I understand sec theta is two thirds or two x over three or cross multiply so this becomes so this is where from this you can write this so this is where we 
So I'm writing sec theta is 2 third x. And sec is 1 over cos. So 1 over cos is equal to 2 third x. So cos would be, if you take the reciprocal of this, you have to take the reciprocal of this. So cos theta is 3 over 2 or 3 over 2x. And we know sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So this implies cos squared theta squaring both sides will become 9 over 4x squared. Okay, so 1 minus cos squared became 1 minus 9 over sine squared theta. And then you can multiply, so this is over 1. So multiplying both by 4x squared, so you get, you reach here. I think this is pretty easy. And so this is sine squared theta. So sine theta is square root of the numerator and denominator and square root of. So you do square root of this and square root of this will give you square root of 2x. So you're almost in the home stress, so home stretch. So this means if you take the reciprocal of this side, 1 over sine theta is 2x over square root of 4x squared over 9. Hopefully you're not done with mistakes. So now ultimately we come here. That is one. This is the this is where we started, and we finished at one over eighteen, negative one over eighteen sine theta. So if you want to understand, this is nothing but negative one over eighteen times one over sine theta plus c. Okay, and we have proved just now that one over sine theta is this, and that's why if you can compare, I've written negative one over eighteen times this and that's your answer so let me remove my veil so this is the ultimate answer which is a beautiful answer which is negative x so this this goes in 9 18 9 times so this is negative x over 9 times square root of 4 x squared minus 9 so if you look at this and this they are pretty same okay this is repeated here and if you got this till here, you're doing really good. See you in the next.